Hi, I'm David Baxter. And I'm Kasha Thompson. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And this week we're at the City of Concord's brand new Traffic Control Center, making life easier for you when you're commuting around all through Concord. And Kasha's going to tell you all about that. We've got a lot of other great information on today's show. So if you miss any of the contact info, all you got to do is go to cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW and it's right there. CTW travels to the City of Concord's brand new Traffic Control Center. Located on Warren C. Coleman Boulevard, the state-of-the-art facility houses the Transportation Department's six Traffic Signal Division staff members and important equipment to make traveling here in Cabarrus County safer. Before moving to this space, the TMC was located within the basement of the 30 Market Building, former Police Department. The center now resides in a 10,649 square foot space featuring a control room lined with an LCD video wall displaying live camera feeds from across Concord. It also includes a conference space, maintenance and diagnostics shop, traffic signal equipment storage, and covered parking lot for vehicles and trailers. The video wall is the first traffic application of its kind in the state and offers staff enhanced capabilities to make real-time adjustments to signalize intersections. Concord's Traffic Signal Division staff maintain 140 traffic signals, 106 pedestrian signals, 22 school zone flashes, more than 200 cameras, and more than 100 miles of fiber optic cable in conjunction with the city's electric department and NCDOT. The system is key to managing traffic flow throughout the community as well as coordinating traffic at events around Charlotte Motor Speedway, Concord Mills, and downtown Concord. For more information about the City of Concord's Traffic Control Center, call 704-920-5338 or visit concordnc.gov slash transportation. Now let's round up the whole family to see, touch, climb aboard, and learn about county's many fascinating trucks and vehicles at Touch a Truck. Touch a Truck will take place at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center. That's located at 4751 NC49 in Concord on Saturday, October the 12th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. This is a whole fun, interactive family event. Allows children and adults to see, touch, and safely explore their favorite trucks and heavy machinery, as well as meet the personnel who protect, serve, and build the Cabarrus County community. More than 80 vehicles will be available to explore, including construction equipment and emergency service vehicles. Guests will also be entertained by a skydiving show. Hey, you know, canine demonstrations, a helicopter landing, and a whole lot more. Now, I mean, that's, that is a whole lot, yeah. right? Admission is free. Food will be purchased for, uh, available for purchase. And parking is only $5. So for more information on Touch a Truck, October the 12th, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., Bear Serena, Visit Facebook event page at Cabco ALP, or you can just call 704-920-3484. And of course, Cabco TV, van will be there, so you can kind of see that a little behind the scenes of TV. All right. And David's second closet. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> well, you can, speaking of which, you yeah. can own the dark and become a master of the night at the Terror Toss Devils Disc Golf Tournament on Friday, October 11, 3 to 10 p.m. at Franklis Park. The 18-hole tournament is open to players of all skill levels. We could even give it a shot. Oh, yeah, we have I know. In the past. We have. That's the competition right. starts when the sun goes down and the ghouls come out. Custom stamped glow discs are awarded to the first 25 teams, and prizes are awarded through the night on a number of holes. The cost is $30 a team, and you can pay the day of the event. There so, you go. Last minute plans, no worries. For more information on the Terror Toss Doubles Disc Golf Tournament, October 11th, 3 to 10 p.m. at Frank Lisk Park, visit cabarruscounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3484. Now, Franklin's Park is going to light up in October with a whole variety of electric events. Now, Glowtober takes a bright look at the amenities that are offered at Franklin's. Now, you can play Cosmic Dodgeball in the barn. There you go. Again, a lot of dark stuff going on on Saturday, October the 12th, 10 a.m. to noon. Now, this family glow-in-the-dark event is only $5 and for those ages 5 and older, okay? So, for a complete list of dates and all kinds of cool stuff going on in Glowtober, Visit cabarruscounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3484. Medicare open enrollment begins October 15th. Don't try to figure out the best plan on your own. There's such a great way to save. 
Just let the professionals at Cabarrus County Adult and Aging Services walk you through it with the Seniors Health Insurance Information Program, or SHIP as we like That's to call it. it. The program takes place at the Senior Center in Concord. It's one-on-one -on -one appointments where they're free, objective information about Medicare and supplements and Advantage mm -hmm. plans, drug plans, all kinds of stuff to help citizens recognize and prevent Medicare billing errors, possible fraud and abuse. A pharmacist is also available to help with Medicare recipients compare drug plans based on their personal medications. Call for your appointment. For more information or to make an appointment for a SHIP at Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord, call 704-920-1400, press option 7 then option 2. Come on out to the annual Gibson Village Fall Festival on Saturday, October the 19th, 1 to 5 p.m. There'll be information tables, there'll be artist workshops, performances. You got games, you got food, you got drink, all kinds of activities for the whole family. So the Fall Festival is on Saturday, October 19th, 1 to 5 p.m. Be held in Concord's Gibson Village at 223 Coral Drive Northwest, just off Kerr Street. Now, for more information about the festival, just visit clearwaterartists.com. You're invited to stroll the streets of Town Center with your family and friends and enjoy viewing lovely works of art from a variety of artists during Harrisburg Art Walk on Saturday, October 12th, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Attendees can expect to see more than 50 mm, art vendors, everything from paintings to pottery, metalwork, jewelry, handmade bath soaps and lotions, bags, apparel, <laughs> And more. And what more? else is there? I, I, don't to say. I don't know. Well, food trucks are also oh, there, so good. culinary yeah. art. <laughs> uh, live music throughout the afternoon. The Art Walk is Saturday, October 12th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. located at the Harrisburg Town Center, 4100 Main Street in Harrisburg. The event is free and open to the public. For more information on the Harrisburg Art Walk, contact Sean Marble at 704 Four five five zero seven two five or email smarvel at harrisburgnc.org. Now, the North Carolina Senior Games Pickleball State Finals mm -hmm. returns to the Carolina Courts in downtown Concord, and that's going to happen on October 15th through the 17th. Now, that's a whole lot of fun. Now, there's some of the best pickleball players from all over the state mm -hmm. show up here, and this tournament is hosted by Cabarrus County Active Living and Parks. That's pretty, it's a big honor, right? Mm -hmm. Along with the help of several other local agencies, including a large group of volunteers. Now, the tournament is recruiting volunteers to assist with everything from line judges to area ambassadors. No experience is necessary and you get a free t-shirt if you pre-register and you volunteer for four hours during the tournament. It's a great opportunity, I mean it really is, to extend a warm Cabarrus welcome to all the competitors across the state and showcase our county. So for more information or to register to volunteer for the North Carolina Senior Games Pickleball Finals, Carolina Quartz in downtown Concord, October 15th through the 17th. Just call 704-920-3484. Are you aware of the various opportunities to vote in Cabarrus County ahead mm. of the November 6th election? Mm. Skip the lines and vote early. Early voting begins October 16th and goes through November 1st. Visit Cabarrus County Board of Elections, 369 Church Street North in Concord to mark your ballot early. The Board of Elections is open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on October 16th through 18th, 21st through 25th, and the 28th through November 1st, and from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday, October 26th. It's also important to make sure your voter's registration is up to date. Visit cabarruscounty.us slash elections to update your information, view one-stop early voting location and times, and view your sample ballot. For more information on the 2019 elections, visit cabarruscounty.us slash elections or call 704-920-920. 2860. It wouldn't be the spooky season without the Halloween-y roast at the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord. Of course it wouldn't be. Now the event is Saturday, October 26th, 6.30 p.m., but you must register by October 18th. Now admission is only $9, includes all kinds of cool stuff, hot dog combo, a dance, and a costume contest. What was the last ho uh, Halloween costume you dressed up as? A uh, Thor. No, I was... <laughs> And that was yesterday, just yeah, coming into the office. Just coming into work, okay. Strolling in on a Tuesday. <laughs> that's it. So for more information at the Halloween Rose till October 26th, 6.30 p.m., Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord, just call 704-920-3484. Don't miss out on some booze and brews. <laughs> oh, this sounds go. 
right up my alley. <laughs> Join the murder mystery scavenger hunt in downtown Concord. That's Saturday, October 19th, 4 to 8 p.m. A pretend mm -hmm. murder has occurred and participants must uncover the clues hidden in downtown businesses to solve mm. the mystery. The investigation begins at Red Hill Brewing. Tickets are $25 and include two drink tickets and mm. materials needed to solve the mystery. There you go. For more information on the murder mystery scavenger hunt in downtown Concord, October 19th, 4 to 8 p.m., call 704-920-4208. Now celebrate the 2019 inductees to the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame. It's going to happen on Thursday, October 17th from 7.15 to 10.30 p.m. at the historic Gym Theater in Kannapolis. I mean, that's beautiful theater. Now join the 2019 inductees Elizabeth Cotton, Merrill Watson, Mitch Easter, Ninth Wonder, and Big Daddy Kane during this red carpet event that includes live performances by the new inductees. That's awesome. And also past inductees like Kelly Pickler and Pastor Shirley Caesar. So VIP tickets are $90, general admission is $45. So for more information on the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame induction ceremony, visit North Carolina Music Hall of Fame.org. On October 26th, we invite ghosts and goblins to haunt mm. the trails of Frank Lisk Park. Tie up your laces for the 19th annual Jack-O-Lantern Jaunt Road Race and Fall Festival. The festivities begin at 1 p.m. and include pumpkin carving, relay games, and maybe even something sweet. There you go. Don't feel guilty for <laughs> indulging. The mm. mile walk and fun run starts at 4.15 p.m. and the 5K is at 4.45, so hopefully it's a little cooler in the day. Oh, yes. The cost for the 5K is $20 and the fun run is 8 but the festival is free. To register for the Jack Lantern Jaunt Road Race, visit runsignup.com and use keyword jaunt or call 704-920-3484. Calling all chili cookers and the public is invited to participate in a chili competition. It's part of the third annual Hops and Heat Beer and Chili Festival, okay? That's on Saturday, November 16th from 1 to 5 p.m. downtown Concord. Registration is 50 bucks. So for more information on competing in the Hops and Heat Beer and Chili Festival, November 16th, 1 to 5 p.m., downtown Concord. Visit concorddowntown.com or call 704-784-4208. Now, I know we have a lot of information on today's show, a lot of detail, right? So if you missed any of those details, contact. All you got to do is go to cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW. It's right there. We want you to sign up for our newsletter. It's got all this information at the click of a button. Go to cabarruscounty.us type newsletter in the search bar, or text CTW to 22828. And of course, you can follow us, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Cabarrus County. And if you have family and friends that don't have Spectrum Cable, can't watch us on Channel 22, then all you got to do is go to cabarruscounty.us slash TV, watch the shows on demand, or live stream the channel 24-7. I tell you, it's, it's really cool, kind of like watching all these different intersections and stuff. It's like... So if you broke the rules, we saw it happening. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Right there. Yeah, we were taking notations of license plates. That's no. right. Yeah, so, but, I mean, the great thing is, is they can control these things and help the traffic flow, so it makes it a whole lot easier. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of glad there's somebody watching out for me. Yeah. Kind of. Okay. And uh, until next week, you have a great one. Take care.